Hey there, my name is Anthony Romano, and this video is going to be telling you why you shouldn't count carbs on keto. So that probably sounds pretty wrong, if you know anything about keto, but it's actually right, and counting carbs is the wrong approach. So if you're newer to ketogenic dieting in any shape or form, whether it's for fat loss, for health benefits, for keto bulking, anything that it may be, basically you probably heard that you just need to keep your carbs under 50 grams a day. But this is actually wrong. And I've seen many advertisements on YouTube, many advertisements on Instagram, many people who are trying to pass off their knowledge of keto and just ride the bandwagon. And they'll put out meal plans like this one I saw on Instagram. So basically a lot of the faux false keto meal plans you'll see online are things that include the wrong kinds of carbs but they just keep them under 50 grams a day and the whole point of this video is that keto is a diet well a lifestyle whatever you want to call it but to be in ketosis you need a qualitative approach not a quantitative approach so what that means is you need to focus on the quality of your carbs rather than the quantity talk about this very frequently on my page, but this meal plan, for example, has breakfast, banana, lunch, fruit salad, dinner, milk. That's what a endomorph apparently should be eating. So that's somebody with more muscle mass and less body fat should be eating. Well, not necessarily less body fat, but that's apparently what this recommendation says you should be eating to have a ketogenic diet. And meanwhile, that is almost all carbs. And even though the total, right, depending on what you're eating, may un add up to under 50 grams of carbs, they're from the highest glycemic sources of carbs, which means the highest density of sugar in the carbs. So really, people think that, oh, I have 50 grams of carbs. Instead of wasting that all on broccoli, I'll have a banana and then a little bit of fruit salad and I'll just cut my dose shorter. That's not how this works. You would be better off having 100 grams of broccoli than 10 grams of banana because the type of carb in the banana is going to spike your blood sugar so much more than the vegetables or anything with higher fiber content and lower glycemic load. And that would be fundamentally messing up your diet if you're having the banana. So basically, this meal plan proceeds to go on for mesomorph and ectomorph, which are other body types which aren't really dogma, it's kind of a bit of myth. Breakfast looks like cereal and there were some fruits. Lunch, some yogurt with some more fruits. And dinner, I mean, looks like orange juice and apples. But, I mean, if you want to throw them a bone, you could say maybe it's eggs <laughs> uh, blended up, but I doubt that it is. So, not that keto people are routinely eating just pounds of liquid eggs. I mean, it is a good tip for a keto bulk. And uh, there's a lot of golden era bodybuilding tips that go hand in hand with that. But this is, again, fundamentally wrong. There's more carbohydrate in the diet, and it's not understanding the main principle of keto, which is to eliminate the wrong kinds of carbs. From there, it's better to focus on what you're not eating than what you are eating. I mean, I always explain this diet to people as, the simplest way to explain it is you're a carnivore and a vegetarian, combine those two together, that's all the food you can eat. That's kind of the simplest way to explain to people. Of course, you can do either a full vegetarian keto diet, or you can do a full carnivore keto diet, whatever you prefer. But the easiest way for people to understand it is by just looking at those two food habits, right? And food consuming habits. And basically, it's more about what you're not eating than what you are eating. Because you can do a million different kinds of keto diets, but the one commonality has to be that you're cutting out the starches, you're cutting out the sugars, and you're cutting out the grains and the fruits, okay? A lot of people try to get around the fruits and the fruits are the biggest, I mean the biggest culprit for ruining keto diets for people. Because people think it's natural, it's natural sugar. And that's fine. And there's a little bit of fiber. Again, it's wrong. The type of fruit sugar, which is called fructose, will spike your blood sugar very high. And even though there's a little bit of fiber, it's not going to be enough to blunt that blood sugar response. So in general, don't eat fruits. And I have people who say, oh, I eat keto everything, but then I have a little bit of fruit. Is that okay? No, it's not. You have to bite the bullet and get over that. And the funny thing is, oftentimes the people who are the most addicted to sugar allow themselves to get that way because they rationalize that fruit sugar is different than 
a Snickers bar and they're not eating Snickers bar, they're eating clean, but in reality, their blood sugar is still getting spiked every morning when they have a big fruit smoothie. And that's essentially not okay on a keto diet, regardless of what your goal is. Of course, you can still have fruits here and there down the line, and there's other ways you can incorporate carbs. That's why keto is a very easily maintainable lifestyle because down the line you get better at processing carbs and fat, but that's topic for many of my other videos which I've already explained on my page. Ectomorph, eggs, okay, so this is the first sign of anything ketogenic. Lunch, it looks like oatmeal with blueberries and raspberries, no bueno. And then it looks like there's, again, milk or maybe cream at best. Either way, this is not cool. You will not be eating these foods on a ketogenic diet. It's completely false. And I want to say that over half of the sources on YouTube or Instagram or any of those social media or the internet will recommend this. I don't know why, particularly for women, they tend to recommend more fruits and every women's plan I've looked up has just terrible recommendations. And I actually have a video on my page where I critique a women's keto plan. So you can check that out if you're interested in that. But overall, the most important thing is what you're not eating which is carbohydrates. From there, yes, there are ways to incorporate it, and I have videos on that as well. But overall, the biggest thing to wrap your head around is not to count carbs on keto because you're looking at it fundamentally the wrong way. You need to look at this from the qualitative approach rather than the quantitative approach. So don't think about 50 grams of carbs because if you had 60 grams of carbs in a day, but it all came from salad, <laughs> then you're not gonna have any problems. You might have more fiber intake that day, but the total amount of glycemic load on your body is going to be weaker than if you had 60 grams of carbs from watermelon, okay? Or from a Snickers bar for that matter. If this video was interesting to you at all and it answered your questions about proper keto setup, subscribe to me right now and then also leave me some comments related to those things if you wanna learn more. Beyond that, I have keto coaching on my website, romanoketo.com. Gonna be having some programs come out very soon so that for the people who don't want something one-to-one -one accountability every single day. You just want a plan to be set up. I'm gonna be making those, dropping them very soon. Beyond that, if you want a free sample meal plan, that's in the description as well as a training plan. Thanks for watching this video. My name is Anthony Romano. Peace.